Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. And one of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. It's something that Google initiated back in Android 5, where when you factory reset the device without first taking off the account that's on it, it's then going to ask for that same account again as a security feature after the reset is completed. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy J2, originally from Metro PCS here in the US. And this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, it gets to a screen that tells us that it was reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with an account that was on the device previously. And when we tap next, there doesn't seem to be any way to actually get past that without actually signing in and having that email and that password. But we're making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a way to be able to get past that lock on this phone using our computer programs and tools. It's something that we've actually already done to the device, so the work is 99% complete, and all I have to do is one simple restart to the phone here, and then after that we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup process without having to see that lock there. There's no tricks involved here, nothing funny going on, we're not going to sign into the account with our own you know, our own login or anything. It is something that's just done with our programs and tools. So you will be able to see right here that we can then go through the setup process all the way without seeing that lock just by restarting the phone. So give it one second to go here. Starting Android. And then it should load up our start screen. Okay, so we are gonna start going through. We are going to skip Wi-Fi and then terms and conditions, agree. And then it's gonna ask us if we don't need a name and we don't need a screen lock and Google services. And this is a good sign because we could never get to any of these options previously while that lock was enabled. And then we can skip the Samsung account and should be almost there, I think. Finish, there we go. Okay, so it says all done. We're all the way through the setup. And once the home screen loads up, okay, there we go. So the home screen is loaded up. We have access to all the apps and features and the lock has been completely removed from the phone and it can be used just like a brand new device. While you're here, I'm going to jump into the settings and show you exactly what we're working with. So we do have a Galaxy J2 and then the model number there, the J260T1, is what uniquely identifies it as a Metro PCS device. So if you have a Galaxy J2 originally from Metro and need help getting the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the information there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.